I'm Denny. One of the questions I see on Yahoo Answers all the time is how do I make a YouTube video? I thought today I would take you through step by step and show you exactly how to make your own YouTube video. So let's get started. One of the first things you're going to need when you're making your video is you need a camera. You could use a digital video camera like I've got here or you could use a still camera. If you're going to use the still camera then you want to look on the camera at the little wheel right there and it should have the picture of a movie camera. That's the setting that you're going to use when you take video. Okay, so now you've got the equipment to take pictures but you're also going to need a computer like what I've got here in order to process those videos into a movie that you can upload into YouTube. If you've got a Windows computer with Windows XP, Service Pack 2, or higher, then you have a program called Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker is a program that you can use to edit your movies and turn them into a video that you can upload. Now my computer, I happen to be using another program called Pinnacle Studio Plus, but that's something optional that I decided to buy and install into the computer because it has a little bit more capability than uh, Movie Maker. Um, but Movie Maker can do just a fine job. One other thing you're going to need in order to connect your digital camcorder to your computer is a FireWire connection. Most camcorders, when you buy them, do not come with this wire. and You've got to buy it. It's an extra option. People often wonder, why can't I get my movies from my camera into my computer? It's because you don't have the right connection. Your computer needs to have a FireWire connection, and your camera needs to have the FireWire cable that goes from the camera to the computer in order to do that. Look on your computer and see if it has a symbol like this. If your computer has a symbol like that, then you've got the FireWire connection. All you need is the cable that plugs in. You'll see an outlet that looks like this. Okay. If you've got those things, then you're ready to go. Let's make a movie. All right, so go ahead and make a movie and have fun. I don't need to tell you what to make a movie of because if you've been looking at anything on YouTube, you can see that they'll put anything on there. No matter how stupid it is, people will make movies out of it. So go ahead and film anything you want. We can turn it into a video and put it on YouTube. Just like you're going to do right now. I'm going to make a movie of myself making a movie. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to start making my movie by downloading the pictures from my still camera into the computer. To do that, I've taken out the media card right here and I'm going to plug it into my card reader on my computer on the front. Then I'm going to download the video sections into my computer. So let me try that. Plug it in like that. We'll whip over to the screen. You see the uh, dealies popped up there. And it asks you, what do you want to do? Well, I want to copy my stuff to the computer using my camera and scanner wizard. So I'm just going to pan down and click OK on that. The wizard starts up and I need to pick the pictures that I'm going to copy from my memory card to the uh, computer. Now there's four. One, two, three, four that I'm going to copy. All I need to do is come down to the corner, click next, and I can give those pictures a name. I'm just going to call it video for now. It's going to go into the My Picture folder under Video. I don't want it to go there, but that's okay. Then I'm going to take them right off the camera by putting a, whoop, putting a check mark in the, uh, the box. So I'll just pan down here, click the Next button, and the process of downloading the videos will start. And you can see the progress as it goes along. As you can see, the fourth video is almost completely downloaded into the computer. Should be finished very shortly. And that'll take care of the download process from my still camera. Once this process is complete, I can download the pictures from the video camera. However, with the video camera, it's going to be a slightly different process. So, we'll get into that in just a moment. 
after you've got your video made it's time to transfer the video portion into the computer in order to do that you're going to need to use your firewire connection like I talked about earlier so I've got my camcorder over here and I've got it plugged into the auxiliary power supply so that uh, it keeps an even flow of electricity going I don't want the batteries to uh, die on me in the middle of the transfer process so I'm going to plug in this wire and plug that in camera is off by the way right now and then I'm going to plug in the other end into the computer like so now what I'm going to do now I turn the camera to the on position okay and when I do that the computer should recognize that a camera is connected to it and the uh, transfer software is going to pop up here um, as I said earlier I use the pinnacle software so that's uh, what I'm going to choose to transfer my video but if I didn't have pinnacle I could use the Windows Movie Maker just as well now it takes a few seconds for pinnacle to start up so bear with me I'm in the capture mode now you can see I can control my camera right from here on the screen so I'm going to rewind the video I've got only 12 minutes and 48 seconds shot so far I'm going to be adding more to that in a little while but uh, I'm going to do the first few little pieces here so you can see exactly what's going to happen when we transfer this video all I got to do is let it rewind now we're ready to start recording I'm going to press the capture button down here in the corner and the first thing I need to do is give this video a name so I'm just going to call it YouTube and when I press the start capture button it's actually going to start playing from the camera there's my little picture up there in the corner and as you can see it's playing on the camera and it's recording into the computer I'm going to take this video when it's finished recording the entire thing then I have to go back and edit it a little bit this because it's done in real time if I've got an hour's worth of video it's going to take an hour to copy it into the computer so be prepared to wait depending on the length of your video each scene as it records gets cut up here you'll see different scenes appear as every time I turn the camera off and on that creates a new scene there we go there's another one so this concludes part one of our two-part series how to make a YouTube video. Uh, by now you should be able to get your pictures and video clips into your computer and uh, in part two we're going to use Windows Movie Maker to convert those videos and still pictures into a movie project. We'll be saving the project and then we'll be converting the entire project into a movie that you can upload to YouTube in order to finalize the whole thing. So, in order to get to part two, I want you to click the link which is right over here next to this picture. Uh, in the box, click the more button and uh, the uh, text will branch out and you should find a link right over here. So, uh, we'll see you in part two.